Okay, sixth grade, lesson 46. This is on writing decimal numbers and expanding notation, and then we're also going to be doing mental multiplying um, with decimal numbers by 10 and 100, okay? So let's start with um, decimal numbers, writing them in expanding notation. But first, let's do a quick review of expanding notation with a standard number, okay? For example, 25, okay? What place is this in? It's in the ones. Ones, and this one's in the tens. Okay, so how would I write expanded notation knowing that? You would do 20 times 10. Close. 2 times 10. You take 2, the number that is in this spot, and multiply it by the place value that it is. So this is 1's tens, so we're going to multiply it by 10. Okay, because 2 times 10 is 20, which is what this number is worth. Right? Yep. Okay, plus... Five, five times, times whatever place it's in. This ones. is in the ones. We're going to put a one. Five times one is five, which is what the value of this number is. Twenty-five. Two times ten is twenty. Five times one is five. Okay? So, I'm going to leave this up here for just a minute because you're going to learn how to do decimal numbers. So, watch this. Four, three. Okay? So, you know how to do this. Two times ten plus 5 times 1. Okay, let's move over and look at this one. Okay, we're going to take this 4, and remember how we wrote the 2, we're going to write this 4 times. Now, what place is this in? Uh, tenths. Tenths. Okay, and let me show you. Remember when we were doing, if you were to write this into a um, fraction, how would you write this number into a fraction? 43 hundredths? No, no, this one. Just this four. Sorry. Oh. Uh, four tenths? Yes. Four tenths. What do you notice is on the bottom? A ten. Ten. Okay. So this is tenth. So how we're making a tenths is instead of putting a ten right here, we're putting one over ten. Do you see how I did that? Mm-hmm. This is the tens spot. One's tens. This is the tenth. Spot. So we're going to multiply four times. This makes, says, the tenths spot. Okay? So four times tenth, okay, is this number plus three times one nine. over, what's this spot? Um, Tenth, hundreds. hundreds. So you're going to put a hundred on the bottom. See how we did that? Mm hmm. Okay? So then I just put them in parentheses, and that right there is your answer. That's cool. Okay. So if we were to put all of this together, I do this times this plus five times this why is plus one, this times this plus this times this. Why is one? Why is it one over ten? Because that's what the number they use. Because we're just really trying to put this. Yeah. So you gotta have something up there. Okay. And if you put a zero, it makes it of no value. So you have to have one ten, okay? One over a hundred, one over a thousand, one over ten thousand. You'd keep going, okay? Okay. Because that's the only thing you can multiply this four by, and still yeah. get equal four. Yeah. If I had zero here, zero times four makes this or five zero. I was like five there or six? Would that not count either? Right. If I had six, six times four is twenty-four, and we wanted to say four tenths. So four times one is make it four tenths. You get it? Yeah. Okay. So it has to be a one. Got okay. it? Yep. Because look here, two times 10 is 20, right? Yeah. That's worth 20. Four times one over 10 would really be four over one, and then that'd be four times one is four, and one times 10 is They're 10, superfuls. which is what that is. Got that? Yeah. Okay. So, let's do another one, okay? And I'm going to let you try this one on your paper, and then we'll do it on the board together. Write this decimal number, okay? This was a little bit harder because it added a zero in there. Do you remember when we were working with regular numbers without decimals? What did we do with the zero? Do you remember? No. You just don't do anything. So, we would just do this number and this number. And not worry about the zero. If we were what? If we were doing a standard number. This would be 5 times 100 plus 5 times 1. 
There is okay. no, there's a tens spot. We could do like zero times But zero, zero has no value. You could, but they just don't even do it. Yeah. Okay? So, go on and work that one. Expanded notation? Expanded notation. So the first number you're going to do is this one. Okay, and you have to ask yourself what value it has. Okay. Okay. So what you should have done, do what you should have done, okay, and so you check your problem, is we know that this is in the ones place, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would have said five times one, since one is my place value, plus, what do I do with the zero? No. Nothing. Six times, what place is this in? Tenths, oh. hundredths, right? Mm-hmm. So, I go 1 over 100. And that's my answer. Okay? And if I had a 3 right here, then I would have said plus 3 times, and what place is this in? Thousands. So, I would have said 1 over thousands. And that would have been my answer. Okay? Mm -hmm. Feel like you understand it pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's move to the mental multiplying. Okay? So far, when I take the number 24 and I multiply it by 10, this is something totally different. We're doing multiplying now, okay? Multiplying by 10 and 100. What would the answer be for this? 24 times 10. Uh, it would be 240. 240, okay? So this number added what at the end? Zero. Because there's one zero. Watch this. 24 times 100 equals 200, 400, what, 2,400. 2,400. Why? Because I write this number, 24, and this has two zeros. Doesn't that make it easy? Yeah. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Okay, so if I did 24 times 1,000, that would be 24 and three zeros. 24,000. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're going to learn not whole numbers, you're going to learn decimal numbers. Let's just put one here every time. Stay with me. Now you're multiplying decimal numbers. So guess what's going to happen? Instead of just adding a zero at the end, you're going to move your decimal however many times the zeros has. How many zeros does this one have? One. One. You're going to move the decimal one place to the right. So now 2.4 becomes 24. Isn't that cool? Yeah. 2.4 times 100, how many zeros does it have? Two. How many times am I going to move my decimal? Two. Two. One, two becomes 240. Okay, 2.4, I'm going to put 2.4 right here. Okay, and when I multiply it by 1,000, how many zeros does it have? Three. Three. One, two, three. Fill the rest in with zeros just to help us out. My decimal's here now. I'm going to erase this. The answer is 2,400 or 2,400. Isn't that neat? Okay, so let me show you how this works on here, doing it mathematically. 2.4 times 10 looks like this. 0 times 4 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2. I'm going to add a 0 right there, add it up, I get 240. But I have a decimal. Then what do I do with decimal numbers when I'm multiplying? I would count. Count one spot to the right, right? There's just one. So I'm going to go 1. See that? So 2.4 times 10 became 24, right? 2.4 times 10, doing the easy way, became 24. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So this is the mathematical way, and it takes a little bit more time, but you can actually do it in your head, and it doesn't take any time. Boom, just like that.
It only works with tens though. Only it works with tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, yeah. hundred thousand, and so forth. Okay? You feel mm -hmm. like you got it? Yeah. Alright, let's try one more. And let's see if you can do these in your head. Okay? Uh, 37.5. 37.5. Let's see if you're right. Okay. How many decimal places do I have? Two. One, two. One, two. 37.5. 37.5. Now remember, you can add as many zeros as you want and it still doesn't matter the value. Remember that? Okay? So you did it perfect. Okay? So it's much easier than working it out, isn't it? You can just do it in your head. Alright, try another one. Mentally do this one. Uh, 375. 375. Why? Two zeros. One, two. Zero goes, I mean the decimal goes there. So then we get 375. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, last problem, and this one's going to get a little bit difficult, but not too bad if you think about it. Okay. That's our problem. Now, if you remember correctly, when we're working problems, you basically do this times this, this times this, and we get our answer, right? Okay, and we'd reduce it in the whole nine yards, okay? Forget this, I just wanted to show you that for just a second. Let's do the same thing. What is one time 1 1.2 times 10? 12. 12. What is 0 0.4 times 10? 4. 4. What is 12 divided by 4? <laughs> 3. 3. Very good. Isn't that cool? That looks like a hard problem, doesn't it? But you just did it simply. Okay? So, that is lesson 46.